Thanks for calling U.S. Treasury. This is Shane. How can I help you? Hey, you left me a voicemail? Okay, just allow me a moment. Okay. Can I have the number on which you got a call or a message? 212. Sir, I need your home phone number. That's my home phone number. Um, may I know whom I'm talking with? My name is John. Okay, just allow me a moment. John, my name is Shane Carter. I'm calling from United States Treasury Department. My federal ID is 11785. The nature of the call is to inform you that there are some legal enforcement action filed against you and the warrant has been issued on your name for your arrest. Are you aware of that? No, I'm not. Okay, so have you received the notice CP503? It's a legal notice? No, it is not. Okay. Let me ask you this question. Do you remember who filed the taxes for the year 2013? You did it yourself or you had an accountant? No, I had an accountant. The reason behind my asking this question is because your accountant filed your taxes for the year 2013. The taxes were not filed correctly and completely as there was a mistake done by your accountant in filing the taxes in the form number 1040. And because of that, the complete amount was not paid. There was some amount left which is still showing outstanding on your name. And that's the reason behind, sir, the warrant has been issued on your name. Wow. Okay. Okay. And a minute this call get disconnected, your warrant will get executed. And within 45 minutes, our officers will be at your doorstep to take in a custody yeah, for the next three years. Why would you want to do that? What, what is my, you know, I can still pay it now. Sir. First of all, we are not authorized to take any payments over the phone, and the payment options are already closed for you. So, so what's my next sir, step? The payment options are already closed for you. So what do I need and to you do now? Sir, if you really have a good intention, so I can try to do one last thing for you, I'll go ahead and transfer this call to my senior officer, who is the signing authority of this case and might be possibility that he can help you out. Okay, sure. But before I before I go ahead and transfer the call, I just need to confirm on this federally monitored and recorded line that if you would give me a chance, would you be able to pay this amount today? Uh, what amount are you talking about? Okay. The amount, okay, is... Are you ready, sir? Yes. The amount which you owe to the IRS that includes the interest of three years late fee and penalty charges the amount goes to five thousand eight hundred ninety dollars and fifty cents. And I need to pay it right now? No, sir. I've already mentioned that we are not authorized to take any payments over the phone. We don't require any of your personal information like your debit card details or your credit card details. We don't require. So I can, as I've already mentioned, sir, the payment options are already closed for you. I can try it. I'll go ahead and transfer this call. But Please. do you have this much fun available with you, sir? I will try to get it from relatives. I mean, I don't want to be arrested. So what do you think, sir? How much money you are short of that? Hello? I'm thinking. Let me think a second. Wait. Okay, okay. Take your time. I can do 3000 today. You can pay 3000 today. I'm not sure that you will be uh, able to pay it off, but I can try. I'm just transferring this call to my senior officer, who is the signing authority of your case. So can you hold the line while I'll go ahead and transfer the call? Sure, sure, thanks. Just kindly hold the line. Hello? Yeah. John? Mm -hmm. I'm just um, 
I'm already transferring the call. I've already discussed with my senior officer. Are mm -hmm. you talking to someone, sir? Are you talking to someone? No. Okay. Just hold the line and just transferring the call. This is Kevin Peterson. I'm the senior supervisor of the United States Treasury. Who am I talking to? John Proach. John Proach. Can you spell your last name, please? P R O G E. C R O G E. P R O Proach, right? Paul. Yeah. Okay. Now, Mr. Proach, I believe my paralegal might have informed you each and everything what's going on, right? Correct. Do you understand each and everything or do you want me to repeat that again? No, I do understand. Okay, now at this point of time, as you know that uh, in the year 2013 when your accountant filed the taxes, he made a mistake on your taxes. That is the reason that is an outstanding amount you're behind with the IRS. And at this point of time, there is a tax evasion case filed on your name, which is a financial crime. The minute we hang up the call, the warrant will get executed in 45 minutes. IRS investigating officer will be there in 45 minutes to arrest you for tax evasion today. We have to freeze your bank, bank accounts, we have to put a lien on your properties, and we have to seize your driver license for six months today. So do you have any questions? No, I do not. Should I go ahead and send the officer then? I don't have any questions. I, I just say I'm willing to pay it off. I, I, I said that I have now 3000 to pay today. and. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, at this point of time, I'll be quite honest with you, sir. The legal action has already been started on your name. Stopping oh. this warrant would not be so easy. But if you really want to resolve this matter, if you don't want to face the legal trouble, I can call the investigating officer. I can try to cancel the warrant. I can try to stop the legal action. But the only way it can be done by you paying the balance outstanding right away to the IRS office in Washington, D.C. And I can guide you step by step how do you have to mail this payment. Okay. Do you have this kind of funds with you to take care of this matter right now and stop the legal action? So I'll see where I can come up with the other extra that I don't have now, but... Right now, how much do you have in access to your funds? Right I now? said how that I can, the maximum I can do today is 3000 You mean to say you have to go to your bank to withdraw $3,000? Whatever you tell me. Now, please grab a pen and paper so that I can make you understand how the payment needs to be done. Sure. Now, first of all, if you choose to make a payment, we are not authorized to take payments by your credit card, debit card, bank account information, or by check. There is a set mode of payment for all the taxpayers who are running behind on the taxes and was a warrant on the name. They have introduced a tax pay voucher. Have you heard about the tax pay voucher? No. Okay, tax pay voucher is something, sir. What you have to do, you just have to go to the nearby store like a CVS or Walgreens or Walmart. Uh -huh. Just have to go there, tell the store people that you want to purchase the tax pay voucher. Or there will be a name for the voucher which I will give you. Okay. Once you purchase it, there will be a number on the voucher called as a validation number. You have to provide us the validation number so that we can cancel the warrant and stop the legal action against your name. And then you have to mail those voucher and the receipt which you get from the store people to the IRS office at Washington DC Department. Everything will be stopped on your name. Every charges will be dropped on your name after that. Okay. Now, you do realize that you have to go to your bank first to withdraw this kind of funds in cash because the store people only accept cash to do the money gram. You just have to withdraw the amount $3,000 for now, and for the remainder, we can put you on a payment plan. So don't worry about the remainder, okay? Okay. Thank you. Now, yeah, the thing is that our phone line has been attached to our computers. If the line gets disconnected, the warrant will get executed automatically. Then there is no way we can stop the legal action. So you have to stay online with me till the time you go to the bank withdraw the amount, then go to the store and do the voucher, okay? Okay. Are we talking on the cell phone or this is the landline? It's my landline. This is your landline number? I'm calling from my home phone, yeah. Okay. Because we have to stay online with you on your cell phone. So can I get your cell phone number, sir? I don't have a cell phone. Then you have to arrange a cell phone, sir. So you're going to call me on the cell phone while I go to the bank and to the store? Exactly, sir. The problem is that my cell phone doesn't have a recording, and I need to record whatever we're talking, so I can share it with FBI. All right, sir. You do. You do that, sir. Thanks for calling U.S. Treasury. This is Shane. How can I help you?